What's up, MSM? Welcome back. 2024, you are in your first home group. I hope that it's been good to connect and hang out, uh, talk about your Christmas and your New Year's and all those things. So good to be back together uh, just in this community and doing life together. Um, for those of you that don't know, I've got two little girls, Lexi and Felicity. They're six and eight. Uh, I think they've been in some videos before, uh, but they had a really great Christmas. And it's been fun uh, hearing them tell other people about their Christmas because somebody will just kind of be like, hey, how was your Christmas? And they just light up and they get so excited and they just go a million miles an hour. And it's like really hard to keep up. And it's like, baby, just slow down for a second. Like take a breath, like have some sentences, not just one long thing because you're so excited. Have you ever been so excited like that where you just go off on a rant and it feels like, you're not even breathing because you're just so excited and going so hard in your explanation. I feel like that's kind of a summary of what we're diving into today. This semester, we're gonna be in the book of Ephesians. Uh, you probably talked with your group a little bit, but Ephesians is a letter that Paul wrote. And some context, Paul is in prison. Like he, he's locked up in jail for sharing the gospel. And then he's writing this letter two Christians that are in Ephesus, also with the hope that that letter would like get passed around to the other towns around Ephesus that also had small churches starting because this is the start of the church and things are starting to spread and get going. And so Paul's writing this letter in what I would say is a not great spot. Like he's, he's locked up in prison. That doesn't sound fun. But when you look at the passage that we're in today, which is just the start of the letter, um, Paul is stoked out of his mind. He is so excited and he goes off on this rant in the first couple of verses. Now, what we don't see in English is that in the original Greek, this is one long sentence. Like he doesn't pause, he doesn't stop. He just goes because he's excited. What is he excited about? Well, that's what you're gonna dive into today. Look at Ephesians chapter one, verses one through 14. As Paul's setting up this letter, he, he greets them, he says who he's talking to, and then he goes on this long explanation basically about how good God is and how he showers us with kindness. And then one of the important truths is that as believers, he chose us, he chose you before the world was even created. So he didn't wait to see, well, hold up, let's just wait a little bit and see like, how they do the first couple years, and if they're good enough, then we can choose them to be in the family. He didn't say like, oh, let's wait and make sure that they go to small group enough times or they read their Bible enough, and then we can adopt them into the family. No, before you were born, before the creation of the world, God chose you to be in his family. And that's a deep, deep thing to think about. So here's my hope for you in your small groups. Today, read this together. Uh, read it and, and, and notice the words that Paul uses and his excitement and what he's talking about. But then just don't just read it, start to interpret it. What does that mean for us today? Discuss that with your group and, and how we can interpret this piece of scripture today in Fort Worth, Texas in the year 2024. And then at the end of that, how can we apply that to our lives? These truths that Paul is sharing with us how does that shape how we live day to day when we're at school or when we're on the basketball court or when we're on the ballet floor? What does this do for us in our, our day to day life and how should it shift the way we think, the way we talk or the way we act? That's our hope for today is that you can dive into those conversations with your group. So have fun, enjoy, I miss you guys, I'll see you soon.